Hey everybody, this is Brian with Bear Cards 34 coming back today with another Blast from the Past TTM video. So for those who haven't seen these before, uh, I did a lot of TTMs back when I was a kid and so I'm kind of highlighting the returns that I got from back in the early 90s. Uh, so this right here is the one I'm going to start off with. This is Greg Cregan. Now I was looking real quick for <clears throat> some sort of a Utah State uh, memorabilia to kind of show and all I could find right off the top was uh, so this is for basketball but this is a you know a piece of the uh, of the court from Utah State that I have but my Aggies my alma mater Greg Cragen's alma mater they won the uh, Jimmy Kimmel bowl game last night it was fantastic they played Oregon State and uh, the big thing I was concerned because uh, Utah State was down seven nothing and the starting quarterback for the Aggies got injured early, early on in the first quarter. And they had to play their third string quarterback because QB number two is out. And on the third string quarterback's very first college pass ever, he threw a 62 yard touchdown strike. It was beautiful. And the Aggies never let up, they ended up winning the game. So it was a big game. I'm sure Greg Cregan was happy about that as well. So I'll start off with this. I wrote to Greg Cregan when he was on the Denver Broncos. He's actually from Chicago, Illinois. Go Bears. Uh, he was undrafted after his career at Utah State. He tried out for the Denver Broncos back in 1985, but he was cut. However, the next year in 86, they invited him back to training camp, and he made the team. He went on then to have a 13-year career. Nine of those were with the Broncos. Uh, he also... Spent his final four years with the Chiefs and Carolina Panthers. Uh, he was a three-time All-Pro, two-time All-Madden team. So not bad for a guy who went undrafted. So uh, he sent me back that card. And then I also got this Fleer 91 where he autographed and personalized the back. So to Brian, best wishes, Greg Cregan with his number 71. So obviously I was really excited to get those back as an Aggie fan grew up as a kid going to some of the Utah State games uh, didn't ever see him I mean I probably I'm sure I saw him play but I was too young to remember him playing at Utah State but I knew for many many years that he was an Aggie playing for the Broncos so I was a big fan of his and uh, he actually was honored by Utah State in 2018. He made the Utah State Hall of Fame. And I was at the football game where they honored him. So he got to go up at halftime and, and the crowd gave him a big cheer. So that was pretty fun to see. So definitely very happy to get that Greg Cregan uh, return back in the day. All right, next up I've got this Paul Gruber autograph. So I wrote to him and he was kind enough to send back this uh, autographed photo to Brian, good luck, Paul Gruber. He was a number one draft pick back in 88 out of Wisconsin by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. He was the fourth pick of the draft that year. Uh, went on to spend uh, all 12 years with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. He was always known as one of the few bright spots of the Buccaneers. Just a, a, a great player on a bad team. Uh, to kind of put that in perspective, the Buccaneers had 12 straight 10 loss seasons. And Gruber was a part of the final seven of those. Uh, they actually did start to get pretty good later in his career. And in fact, his final season, uh, 1999, they made it to the NFC Championship game. But bad luck for Gruber. He broke his leg near the end of the season, so he was not able to play in that. Uh, and that did contribute to him retiring as well after the end of that season. Uh, but he, he was a very, very good player. Two-time All-Pro. He's part of the Buccaneers' Ring of Honor. He played in and started 183 games. So just a, a really, really good player for the Buccaneers uh, in the 1990s. So very happy to get that one as well. And now kind of on the flip side of that, uh, a great team in the 1990s. Right here we have Mike Kofer. There were a couple Mike Kofers in the NFL. One was a linebacker for the Lions, but then there was also this kicker. Uh, so again, you know, uh, personalized to Brian, best wishes, Mike Kofer, very happy to have that. Uh, he was a part of a couple of the 49ers Super Bowls. He was even an All-Pro in 1989. Uh, he started off in 87 with the Saints before moving over to the 49ers. His final year, he was with the Colts, uh, but pretty much he was a 49er guy. 
Uh, he also did some uh, stock car racing for NASCAR. There was even a pinnacle card of him uh, behind the wheel that kind of highlighted a little bit of that. He was known for having a strong leg, but for being kind of inconsistent, which eventually led to him uh, being replaced in San Francisco. But yeah, that 1989 year was great for him and, and two Super Bowl wins. So uh, very nice and, and great to get that, uh, that autograph when I was a kid. All right, next up we've got Ben Smith. I love his autograph. He's got a really nice signature. And I know I've said this before, but man, I appreciate it when the players actually give their signature on their autograph. You know, the slashes, the initials, the squiggly lines are not my favorite. It's pretty weak, especially for the prices we're paying for cards now. I get it, though. There are a lot of autographs, a lot of cards, a lot of stickers. I can only imagine they probably have pages that are just sheets of, of uh, stickers to sign over and over and over. You know, I've seen some of those autograph cards that are, you know, out of 1,500 and who knows how much more. So I get it. It's got to be exhausting. But I really do appreciate the nice signatures. Ben Smith definitely has one. He was a first-round pick for the Eagles in 1990. You know, there was a lot of... Uh, potential there and and he did okay uh, but but he did he didn't stick around too long in the league he played four years with Philadelphia uh, then he went over to Denver for a year and then his final two years were with the Cardinals he had six career interceptions uh, but these right here were a couple nice cards I always love getting the action pack cards from that year with the gold foil those always look pretty sharp so happy to have those for sure all right, so speaking of those action-packed gold foil cards and really nice signatures, Fred Barnett, shout out. Love the gold, uh, the gold Sharpie. That's pretty sweet, and it looks great with that card especially. Uh, Fred Barnett was a very good receiver back in the day. He uh, started off as a third-round pick, also from that 1990 draft with Ben Smith. He's from Arkansas State. He played six years with the Eagles, and then he had a couple years with the Dolphins. He went to the Pro Bowl in 1992, and he had 2,000-yard seasons. The play I best remember him for was this really awesome 95-yard touchdown from Randall Cunningham. So, you know, one of the longest pass plays in NFL history. Uh, that was a, a terrific play. It's on YouTube. You can find it if you guys want to check it out. He was always known for having some really cool catches, some acrobatic catches, and uh, his brother, Tim Barnett, played for the Chiefs. And I remember they made some cards of Tim back in the day as well. So Fred Barnett ended his career with over 5,000 yards, 32 touchdowns. And like I said, made one Pro Bowl back in 92. So he was a really good receiver for Philadelphia for a handful of years there. And I uh, think those cards look gorgeous with the gold, the gold ink and the, uh, the nice signature as well. Um, what's interesting here is he sent these all back at the same time. So, you know, he changed his number. So as a rookie, I don't know if that was just preseason or what, maybe, maybe his first season, uh, he was 17 and, and he did include number 17 on that one. And then he put number 86 on those. So he matched it up with the picture on the card, uh, which is pretty cool. So anyway, very happy to have those Fred Barnett cards. Next up, I've got Mike Merriweather. Uh, he also personalized that up here to Brian, God bless. And this is a Gatorade card with his autograph right there. And uh, so with the Minnesota Vikings, but a pretty cool looking card right here. Happy to have that one. So uh, Mike Merriweather was a great player. Uh, he was a third round pick back in 1982 for the Steelers. Uh, he's from New York originally. And uh, with the Steelers, he went to three consecutive Pro Bowls. He's a three-time All-Pro player. In 1984, that was, that was a great season for him. He had 15 quarterback sacks. 1987, he was the Steelers' most valuable player. And that would also be the last time he ever played for the Steelers. Uh, he ended up having a contract dispute, and he sat out the entire 1988 season before getting a bigger contract with the Vikings in 1989. During that first year in 89, he became the first player to score winning points in an overtime game with a safety when he blocked a punt that went out of the end zone against the Rams. Uh, he uh, played four years with the Vikings, and his final year, he kind of split between two teams. He was with the Jets, but then he finished off the year with the Green Bay Packers uh, before wrapping it up and calling it a career. So along with this card that he sent me, you know, that was something he had sent. I, uh, I didn't have this card. 
uh, which is really cool. He also uh, wrote a, a little little letter here. Uh, Brian, I hope all is well. Thanks for the encouraging words. God bless Mike Merriweather. And again, I always love it when the players uh, take that kind of time. So, you know, I, I wrote him. He, he took the time to personalize and send a card and to write a note. Um, I think he might have even taken this off of uh, my original letter to him and just kind of written that down. But very, very cool. So definitely happy to have that. And I became quite a big fan of his after that. And then I'll, I'll finish things off here with a Chicago Bear. Go Bears. Marcus Paul. Uh, I became a very big fan of his. Uh, obviously, I'm a fan of all Chicago Bears. I root for these guys. Uh, he was primarily a backup player for the Bears. He started off, he, he's from Syracuse uh, University. He was a fourth-round pick for the Bears back in 1989. He played five years with the Bears. Uh, then he was, uh, he went over to, I think it was Tampa Bay. No, no, you know what? I think it was Tampa Bay. Yeah, I, I don't remember for sure. He, he finished up, I think, with the Buccaneers. Uh, but he was a finalist for the Jim Thorpe Award his junior and senior year. Uh, it was kind of interesting, though. He played with the Bears for four years, and then he was traded. And then he was cut by the team he was traded to, and then he went back to Chicago, uh, which is kind of cool. He really, you know, made his mark more as a coach. Um, and unfortunately, Marcus Paul passed away last year. Uh, but he, he became a coach. He won three Super Bowls uh, with the Patriots. Uh, he was the strength and conditioning coach there. Then he won a, two more Super Bowls with the Giants. Uh, then he went over to the Dallas Cowboys. And that's where he was. He was actually at the Cowboys team facility in November of, of 2020 when he had a heart attack. Uh, he was ru rushed to the hospital, and he passed away the next day. Uh, he was only 54 years old. Um, now, as you can see, this card is not autographed. This is just one of one of his cards. This is his upper deck card here. Um, he had a few cards made, not very many, but a few. But I wrote to him, and he wrote me back. Uh, and again, just a really nice, nice letter here. So he wrote, Dear Brian, how's everything going? Fine, I hope. I'm sorry it took so long to write back. But since I received your letter in Plattersville, I've been traded to the Dallas Cowboys, cut by the Cowboys, and picked up off waivers by Chicago. As you can see, I've kind of been I've been kind of busy. Uh, thank you for uh, thank you very much for the encouraging letter you sent and the compliments. I wish you all the luck and success in your football career. That was back when I played little league. Take care, Marcus Paul, number thirty six, Bears. Uh, so again, that was just, you know, this this made my day. Um, because of the personalized nature of the card, you know, it really, really meant a lot to me. And when he passed away, you know, just hearing that, you know, I, that really hit home. Uh, you know, just because, you know, ever since I was a kid, having this, this really nice letter from him, having him be a Chicago Bear... Uh, you know, that, that, that was a sad one, you know, and, and again, I'm, you know, he had a, he had a, a decent NFL career, but he had a really successful coaching career, five Super Bowls that he was a part of as a coach and, uh, you know, very much appreciate him for writing to me and, and, and sending that out to me. Very, very thoughtful letter. Very, very kind of him and, uh, rest in peace, Marcus Paul. Uh, yeah, so, so that's it for today. Just wanted to kind of give you guys a little glimpse into, a few more of my returns. You know, it really was as a kid, kind of like Christmas Day every day. You know, my brother and I both wrote to a lot of players, and we would run home and check the mailbox every day. And any time there was a letter for us, man, we would get so excited. Uh, just a lot of fun. Uh, so I appreciate you guys kind of taking a trip down memory lane with me. I'll be back with more of these videos in the future. Hope you guys are all doing well, taking good care of yourselves. Uh, we've got the holiday season coming up. Hope you're all doing well, and uh, I'll be back with more videos in the near future. If you guys like these, feel free to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and everybody take care.